Welcome back. Today we're going to continue on the work of NLP and what this is going to do for you is this is going to help you communicate more clearly in your personal and professional relationships. Not only will it give you questions to ask if someone's upset with you, but it also allows you to be more self-introspective when you're feeling upset, unheard, rejected, lonely, or not good enough. Wouldn't you love a way to understand why your brain is thinking the way that it is and to be able to change that? Wouldn't you be able to love to ask your partner a question that changes their whole accusation around you so instead of fighting, you can open up the doors of communication and find more grace and forgiveness and connection? We're gonna get to another one of the patterns just after the show reel. As I've mentioned in other videos, we delete, distort, and generalize information all of the time. One of the ways we generalize information is by using certain words. And I wanna read off the list to you just to make sure I get them all. So these can be words such as all, every, never, everyone, no one. So for example, you may hear someone say something like, you may hear someone say something like, she never listens to me. And you could say, never? Is there ever a time when she listened to you? Or you could ask a question like, what would happen if she did listen to you? And what this does is this opens up the information that the person saying the statement has generalized and allows them to see all of the times that they were listened to or maybe the way they wanted the other person to react so they feel heard when they're speaking with another person. That can give you a lot of information on how the other person likes to be communicated with. And that can be really helpful when you're speaking with them and creating a relationship with them, wouldn't it be? You can use the same thing when people say something like, no one cares or no one cares about me. Just reflect back, no one? Maybe you can even add on, I care about you. Why do you think no one cares about you? How would you know if someone cared about you? And as we start uncovering the information, as we have the person delve into the generalization that they just spoke out loud, we can help them see that there is more out there than what they're experiencing because we all have confirmation bias and confirmation bias is when we believe something. This can be, we believe nobody listens to us or we're not valuable or we're not lovable or something about politics or something about science or something about the color of the sky. It doesn't matter what we believe. Once we believe it, our brain has great confirmation bias and it looks for all the examples to prove that we're right. So when people are making these broad general statements, what their brain is doing is actually generalizing out all the, all the information, all the times when people did listen to them, all the people who do care about them. When you ask these questions to recover that information, you can change the outcome of their belief. You can change the outcome of where their stories are going in their own head. Because now instead of thinking, no one cares about me, now they can start to see again that people do care about them, that people do like them. That even the person they're making the assumption about or the people they're making the assumption about, that, there are mo that there's more to that story. I hope this is helpful for you. Please comment below. When have you used these? every, never, everyone, no one kinds of statements. Give us a couple examples. This will help everyone learn. And that's what we're here for, isn't it? Just remember that you are love, you are loving, and you are lovable.